Oh, love disc, that's right. This heart-shaped shadow spot here contains a whole bunch of love discs that spawn after a minute has passed. Uh, they're kind of tricky to get, especially when they're all grouping like this, because they take, uh, oh shoot, what did I do? What did I do? Um, I froze something. Uh, help! Help! <laughs> um, not responding. Hello? Why did you do this to me? Um, what is... Two plus two. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I had a recording failure because the whole emulator froze on this. So I'm doing this from the start. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is MC Fisher as we've met him before. And I'm going to do the capture challenge. Hopefully with any sort of freezes. <laughs> yes, I will take it. So yeah, sure you could tell me the rules. And this capture challenge is probably the hardest of all the capture challenges, but we gotta do it for the sake of 100% OCD completion. Yes, we all know these rules. Top score wins. Top score is 3,500, but it may seem small, but the Pokémon here don't really give you that many points, so yes. <laughs> I'm going to be doing my best. And there's also a thing of that the Pokémon are uh, underwater, and it's kind of hard to tell what the Pokémon are unless you know their behavior. So, uh, best of luck with this. <laughs> I'll try and explain to you the behavior as I go. But it, it's kind of kind of annoying to do as a first runner and stuff like that. So let's just cut to the chase here and go for the Remoraid that are hanging out over here. Oh, this actually might be an Octillery. Because uh, Remoraid and Octillery, yeah, they hang out over here. So I'm gonna go for them first. There we go. And it pops out of the water and then plops back in the water really quickly. So you gotta circle it while it jumps. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> so yeah, the heavyweight quickly sinks it. And okay, I'm looking for Remoraid. And, and any Octillery or Remoraid will run and dive under the water if they should see you. So that's how you'll be able to tell what is which. What is what in an area, I should say. And what I'm looking for here is uh, three Remoraid, because getting three Remoraid will unlock a Mantine somewhere down the middle line. It usually appears like top middle or bottom middle, somewhere around there. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on here first. I don't care about those Octillery Shadows. This might be... Um, I don't know what it is. It just says Wild Pokemon. It's probably... Oh, a Horsey. Well, I need you. So I got a horsey added to the browser, I guess. I'm also looking for a sea draw. And 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 and. This should be circling before it even comes out of the water, actually. <laughs> That's probably my best opportunity. Just to be circling where it's gonna be popping out. Oh yes, never, never judge a Pokemon by its cute looks. See a Charman there? Maybe a Torchic? They're pretty cute! Oh yes, they are! But <laughs> they will scorch you! <laughs> All right, let's get the second memory here. There we go. And then I'll get to looking for a uh, Mantine somewhere, hopefully, over the rainbow. Shoot. Uh, don't, don't, oh, don't, don't, no, no, no. I just want the little shadows. Uh, maybe I'll see more memory over here. And uh, are you, maybe, you know? Eh, I can't tell. I think this might be a sea draw. This right here? No, it's an Octillery. I'm surprised by that because it didn't seem to run. I, I mean, dive under the water when I approached it. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, just need one more Remoraid. Just one more Remoraid. Are you a Remoraid? Please be a Remoraid. No! Magikarp have the lowest amount of score. And the worst part is, you can't even run from the battle because when you do one circle to do a run, it automatically captures them, so it burns a lot of extra time. Oh, oh! Oh, that was another Remoraid. Okay, so another one has spawned there. Uh, that's an Octillery. Oh, shoot! Mm, it's just seen me immediately when it respawned. Uh, just want to kind of get around. Okay, okay, it's going that direction. That means this is its backside. Okay, Remoraid. Good, good, good. This is what makes the challenge so annoying because, yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon like this. And you gotta try and sift through them as best you can. And now I'm gonna be looking for the man time before, oh shoot, before time runs out. As I said, it's either usually top center or bottom center. 
So let's take a peek see around. Uh, where is the special deep water symbol? Oh, I'm too far left, aren't I? It's just all water. I can't tell where I am in relation to anything. Okay, here it is. This is where my mantines spawn. Gotta wait for it to pop out of the water. And... Oh shoot, it's gonna yeah, it's gonna try and a dash attack. Ah, oh, poopers. I just want ah. Oh. oh, I should have held my circles. Uh, that's okay. I just gotta hold my circles if it goes back underwater, but I got it that time. Alright, there we go. Delightful. And now I've got enough points to beat the high score, as you see, but I'm gonna see if I can find the Sharpedo here in this foggy corner quick enough, of which I could not. I just figured as long as I was down there, I would give it a shot. I didn't think I would have enough time to do so, because they're pretty far and few. But at least I beat the high score, and I got the Remoraid Mantine Octillery Combo, well, I should say Mem Remoraid Mantine Combo, plus a Horsey and an Octillery on top of that. So there we go. Woo! Yeah! See, I came... I I was only a couple hundred points over the high score there. It's, see, it's... As I said, it's... It's pretty big uh, difference compared to the Plains one, you know, the Kisara Plains area where you get loads more points for the capture challenge. But anyway, yes, I would like to have another go because I didn't even come close at 100%ing this thing. Like the other one, it's gonna take me multiple times to get the hang of this. I'm, I'm not get the hang of it, I mean to get all the Pokemon, because I know where all the Pokemon are and, you know, how to get them and whatnot. It's just a thing of getting them. I think I'm gonna try and do the Star You, get two Star You, that'll make Star Me appear, then you get two Star Me, and then uh, get, and then a uh, Psyduck will appear once you get two Star Me. So let's see if I can get that really quick. Uh, I just need to find Star You very quickly. And I'm gonna also, I mean, oh, that Pelipper appears after you beat the high score. This might be a C draw, so I'm gonna go for it. Awesome, I need one of those too, so I'm gonna grab this while I can. Uh, why I noticed it might be a Seedra is because it didn't run and it's a medium-sized shadow. So that's what I believe is a Seedra. So yes, yes. Got that knocked off the list. Uh, maybe I'll go in the corner and grab a Sharpedo. Because the whole Psyduck thing isn't that difficult to pull off, really. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Need Sharpedo. That's Carvana. No, no, no. I need some sharp, snarly teeth that are not of that variety. Ah, Sharpedo, where are you? Eh, come on, there it is. Just gotta wait for one to spawn. Alright, let's try and get one of these now. It's always in the foggy area. Somewhere. There's sometimes more than one as well. There we go. That's taken care of. Oh, and by the way, just north of here, in this heart-shaped um, shadowy area, this right here, see how it looks like a sideways heart? This is a love disc spawn point, and they appear here after a minute. I'm gonna try and get one of them. Ah, there we go. <laughs> that worked out pretty nicely. It's just two quick circles, and you'll have them. But, you know, when there's a whole, a whole school of love disc, that could be a problem. Anyway, I should go back to focusing on the whole Star You thing now. Star You, Star Me, Psyduck thing, I mean. Oh shoot, no! Don't be a Magikarp, don't be... Okay, it's a horsey. Well, that means I can do a single circle and then run really quick. That'll stop the timer while I run it. Uh, okay, that's what I need. <clears throat> Alright. Now... Um, ah, there we go. Now, Star Me are going to start appearing now that I have two Star You in a single run. So I'm going to be looking for the Star Me. You can't miss them when you see them because they're above the water. Uh, it's just a matter of finding two of them before time runs out. I'm not too worried about the Pelipper right now. Uh, come on, Star Me. There you are. Don't get in the mix there, Star You. You'll just, you'll just complicate things. Now, the strategy for Star Me is the same as Star You is that while it's spinning, you have the best opportunity to capture it if you do wide circles around its attack. You know, the whole rapid spin thing. And, yep, 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 that is the key to capturing Star Me! <laughs> capturing Star Me, not Star Me, yeah! Uh, okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just looking for a specific Pokémon, as I said before. No, 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 no shadows. I'm done with the shadows for now. Uh, okay, I got the star me, maybe, hopefully. 
Okay. Now, once you do this combo all the way on the left side, uh, left middle side, I should say, will be a side duck. Oh shoot! No, 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 no. No, not a magic carp. They waste so much time. Because the whole, yeah, you can't just circle them once and then run. No, 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 you actually gotta wait because one circle is enough to capture those stinkers. They're a total waste of time. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I want the Psyduck. I want the Psyduck, Psyduck near the left side. I just need to get into the battle and I should be able to get it. Come on, come on, come on, where is it, where is it? Come on, there it is! Yes! Six seconds to spare. And I know I'll be able to go over the time limit because, yeah. Uh, it takes 32 circles, and it runs pretty quickly, but I think I'll be able to get it in one shot. Yeah, I got it! Oh. 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 Yeah, it's pretty easy to capture, <laughs> and because it's so dopey, I guess, you know, that they're hinting that it takes... You know, that I mean, they're hinting that it's dopey because it takes so many circles to infuse your friendship feelings on it, but... Yeah, I do believe that uh, that is the Pokemon that has the most circles that it takes to befriend it in the entire game. But it's very easy to do, it's just that you gotta be consistent while it's floating around on the sea. And you gotta do it quickly before it runs from the battle. Anyway, the time is up. And all I'm looking for now, uh, to complete my browser, is to get the Goldeen Seeking Whalmer combo. And, yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I beat the high score, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not what I'm going for here, I'm going for 100% browser completion. If I was going for the high score, all I'd be doing is going for the Pokémon with the highest point totals. And, uh, now that I'm going for the, uh, Goldeen Seeking Whalmer combo, here's how it works. We're gonna be looking for two Goldeen first. And that'll make Seeking appear, which are medium-sized shadows, and then you gotta get two of those, and then after that, a Whalmer will appear in somewhere around the center area. Now, I'm looking for Goldeen, hopefully this is one of them, I didn't really- Oh shoot! Magikarp! As I say, hopefully it's one of them because I didn't allow it to react to my movements. Magikarp won't do anything, it'll just kind of do its own thing. Um, Goldeen will run if it sees you. So that's why you'll you'll know if it's a Goldeen, but it won't dive underwater like a Remoraid will. Uh, but it's just the whole thing of that you gotta kind of hope that you're gonna come across a Goldeen quick enough. No, <laughs> Magikarp, why, why do you hate me? And look how much time I've burned just on those two Magikarp. That's why I hate getting the Magikarp in this area. Uh, are you okay? You're a Goldeen. You're a Goldeen because you did not dive underwater and you ran for me. So you are a Goldeen. All right, and they can appear virtually anywhere. So just wander around randomly and look for sh small shadows that do this sort of maneuver whenever it sees you. Got it? Good. All right. Let's see if I can pull this off. Uh, are you a Goldeen? Nope, you're probably a Magikarp or a Horsey. You are a Goldeen, though, but this Staryu, that's Staryu, okay. Oh, shoot, the Staryu still got in the battle, because even though it stopped to catch its breath. Uh, oh, shoot, oh yeah, that is another, that is a Goldeen. But I'm gonna have to get rid of that Staryu first. One circle for the Goldeen, there we go. Now, I'm gonna be looking for medium-sized shadows that are gonna start appearing. And they're similar to the Goldeen in their reactions. I think this is gonna be one. Uh, yep, there we go. Seeking. I needed two of these really quickly here. Oh, shoot. Come on, one circle, one circle, one circle. Yeah. Oh, mm. oh it's actually two circles. I didn't notice that. Ah, oh, shoot. You're just jumping out in the most inopportune places. There we go, okay. Just one more, and hopefully I'll be able to get the Whalmer. The Pelipper will be a walk in the park in comparison to the Whalmer. Uh, although the Pelipper can give me quite a bit of ire, but it's just, just the whole thing of that the Pelipper is a, um, it, you know, it's always there. I don't have to do any sort of special requirements to spawn it or anything like that, like I need to do with this Whalmer. So there we go. Now I gotta look around, um, uh, somewhere like, oh, nice Corsola Rock, by the way. <laughs> oh, this is it, right here. This has gotta be it. Hello, Whalmer! Yes, 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 I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I am gonna get it. Uh, you don't stand a chance. Oh, you do stand a chance. Ah! <laughs> All right, now I just gotta get the Pelipper, and then this place will be 100%ed. The Pelipper is, whoops, 
that, well, whatever. The Pelipper is always by that uh, windmill down below. <clears throat> you know, the windmill, the windmill over here, the windmill. <laughs> yeah, this. This is most certainly a windmill by this guy that talks. I should talk to him too now, because uh, I didn't get his dialogue. He's got three different sets of dialogue here. So he's a marine biologist. Yes, as I noticed from the blue text. <laughs> Uh, I, I know how to get those, and yeah, he's another one of those sort of kind of hint guys, like the other one over at the Plains Challenge, you know, Gisara Plains. And, uh, yeah, I would like to hear about that. Sure, why not? So it sounds just like the land Pokemon, too, huh? 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 Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> what? They would? Well, that explains why the Seeking would appear and hop out of the water so happily and gracefully. Maybe. And then he hints that you might be able to see a Whalmer. If you do the whole Goldene to Seeking to Whalmer combo. Yes, yes. And I'm going to try and chat about... chat him really quickly here. There we go. Before the timer gets on going. Because <laughs> when you talk to him, talk to one of these hint guys, the timer always stops. Mm, yeah, you did tell me about that before, that's why I'm clicking through your dialogue. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, long voyage, sailors, well, that kind of makes sense. I'd be kind of kind of bored and irritable as well, not having much to do. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, really, bobbing. Is that so? Could it be, say, that side duck that I captured? Probably. Probably. <laughs> But, are you going to tell me how to do it? Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> well, at least the fighting stopped after seeing the legendary Psyduck. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> uh, well, you won't find it here. It's over on the left side, but ah, eh, you're not listening to me, are you? <laughs> yeah, it is indeed a Psyduck. But yeah, you didn't really tell about how to get the Psyduck. You know, the whole Star You, Star Me, Psyduck combo. But, uh, well, he, he told me about it, I guess. So there's Mantine in the Sea as well. Mm, what? <laughs> I actually was expecting you to say something else. Uh, is there any more dialogue here before I go on? Uh, this looks like the same dialogue, so I guess I can get on that Pelipper there. Yeah, that last bit of dialogue was pretty uh, clever there. Now, that Pelipper often stays way, way above the surface of the water, so you won't actually be able to grab it unless you move away from it, and then try and give it a shot. But uh, let's see if I can get it to land. Like, if it doesn't see me for a while, it'll it'll eventually come to the surface, and I'll be able to... Uh, there we go. Yeah, something like that. But otherwise, if you want to get it into a battle without waiting for it to land, you got to bait, like, maybe a star you or something to come by and get it near the Pelipper and get them both in the battle at the same time. Or I should say the capture at the same time. Shoot. Uh, I should be watching your bubbles. You and your bubbles are not my friend. Actually, I should be circling around the bubbles along with you. Yeah, why am I not doing that in the angle of the bubble? I don't know. But I would like to get this. Ah, shoot. Eh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. I got it! Yeah! I 100% of this place in three runs. I was expecting it to take like four or five different runs, but wow. I actually pulled it off <laughs> in three runs. I am very pleased by that. And no, once again, that typo. I mean, that, that single extra digit on the Pelipper is not a typo. It's literally uh, 2,301. <laughs> Victory! Well, personal record, and I am exhausted, especially since I had to restart making this part due to that freeze. <laughs> so, no, I am most certainly done here. <sighs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my 100%ing spree of the game.